Welcome to the One Electron Universe Quick Update. So here is the teardown of my Anang AN9205A. Uh, now as you can see I have removed the back. Uh, what I was looking for was basically a potentiometer which could help me calibrate but I don't see any such thing here hmm. now if you just look at the construction I mean this is probably a master class how to make it cheap okay let's see what it is so first things first this here is a fuse it's a zero ohm resistor fuse that's it and though the meter says 20 amperes the connection here says only 10 amperes okay other than that the circuit looks okay there's a no name chip of course uh, it's blotted out so we don't know what it is yeah that's about it yeah the protection is also uh, not that great now let's look at some current measurement capabilities of the multimeter uh, what I have here is a very simple breadboard this is my breadboard power supply I have a 1000 ohm resistor 1k resistor here and a blue LED here uh, it is uh, this is being powered by my 12 volt power which we used earlier to test circuit uh, let's switch it on and all right so this is on and for the multimeter we are expecting now this is 3.3 volts so first we will just check with the resistor so it's 3.3 volts and this is around 1000 ohms so let's see if we can do that all right let's do this so let's first just check the current between from the resistor so this is the positive this is the, the positive uh, the current is flowing through here and this is of course the negative so I connect here and here as you can see we have a current of around 3.27 milliamperes uh, which makes sense uh, so that's 1000 ohms and that's 3.3 volts so 3.3 divided by 1000 basically 3.3 milliamperes makes sense yeah again perfect looks good to me mm. now uh, while exploring the current capabilities I came across this very interesting point here I mean I, I don't know what this knob is it says milliampere it has a capacitance symbol there and when I go there it says 200 here so is it 200 milliamperes I don't know so let's try this let's see what this is um, again same thing connect here connect here and okay 2.3 milliamperes is that the current hmm. I don't know and uh, if you want we can also connect it via the doesn't show anything because of course the current will be much lower now hmm. Hmm. I just can't make out what this is so let's go back here so if I do 200 milliamperes here okay and let's see what the current now is it, it still shows like yeah 2.3 2.4 hmm very interesting so for some reason this lid and this lid are the same they look like the same I don't know I don't know if the mystery is solved or I don't know if I'm doing something wrong uh, if you know please let me know below in the comments I would really appreciate that that was a quick short update on the teardown as I couldn't do it last time thank you see you next time